Chinese New Year is approaching and it's no surprise to see many families cooking dumplings in celebration of the traditional holiday as the world enters the year of the pig. But what exactly is dumplings and how did it came to be? My name is Faris Durani or Suai Hui, class Chinese 1001C and today this channel will explain the story and history of dumplings. Last Friday, I got a chance to join a dumplings workshop organized by the Georgia Tech Chinese Students and Scholars Association to see how this cuisine is made from fillings and a piece of dough. It wasn't hard. Although I can't make as good as the person sitting next to me, I enjoyed the activity. This was fairly simple. Just take a piece of dough, put the fillings in, spread water over the edges to make them sticky and close them up, boil them and serve to eat. According to an article from History, the first known recipes for dumplings appear in Epicius, a Roman cookery text. One is simply roasted pheasant, chopped fine and mixed with fat, salt and pepper and moistened with broth, then poached in seasoned water. Simple boiled dumplings like these are still popular around Europe. In Austria, stale bread is soaked in milk and mixed with other leftover ingredients to form dumplings, while German Spatzel is just a flour dough pushed through a sieve directly into boiling water. Filled dumplings were probably a later development in Europe, but Chinese cooks have enjoyed a version known as Yi Yaozi for more than 1800 years. According to legend, Chinese stuffed dumplings were invented during the Han Dynasty by a man named Zhang Zhongjian. The event occurred when Zhang returned to his ancestral village during the winter after a long absence. He noticed that many of his fellow citizens were suffering from frostbite, particularly around their ears. As a way to solve this problem, Zhang cooked up a batch of mutton, chili, and healing herbs and wrapped them in scraps of dough. He folded the dumplings to look like little ears, boiled them, and handed them out to his afflicted neighbors. Who knows if they cured frostbite, but the villagers loved the taste of Zhang's creation so much that he kept making the dumplings long after spring began. Today, dumplings are not only prepared by the Chinese, but are also enjoyed by people all over the world in different forms. In Africa, the Banku and Kenke are cuisines made of starchy balls of dough and steamed before being served. American dumplings can be made with eggs, milk, baking powder, and yeast. In Central Asia, the Manti or Mantu is a steamed dumpling in Central Asia and Chinese Islamic cuisine. As people enter a new year with a prosperous hope, dumplings will continue to serve as a way to bring together families and friends under the same roof. I wish you all prosperity and a happy Chinese New Year. Kongsi Fachai, Zinian Kwaile.